Test, test. I guess this is working. I don't know. Seems to be working. We'll find out. Let's see. Hey, greetings, uh, Mr. Landfill. I don't know if the sound is good or not. It looks like it's okay. Oh, you said sound is good? Thank you very much. I'm doing some testing, so I'm just kind of hanging out. I've got a few things I'm trying to do over here. I actually don't even have any lights on behind me. That's kind of weird. Uh, let me see. I, I think I'll just leave it the way it is. What I'm trying, let me see if I can fix my chat over here, though. Something I was working on. Let's see, I need to go here. And I should be able to do this right here and do OK. And hopefully that will, there we go. Now we have chat over here. How's that look? So that's good. I can see I've got a chat window over here and I have a chat over there. So that's working. So this is a little different area than what I usually, where I'm usually working. Uh, but that looks pretty good. Doing like a working on the little bug down here. You can see that. Uh, again, we have chat. I do have a couple of different views. I have a workbench view here. This is actually something I've been trying to work on. And I thought I might uh, take a look at that. I'm trying to figure out how to hack this medical computer's BIOS so that I could put Linux on this thing. And I think I think I may not be able to do it. I think that's probably something I'm not going to be able to do which is kind of frustrating because I would have liked to have done that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Let me go back here. Uh, let's see. One thing I wish OBS did is, and I am in OBS. I'm not in my regular stuff over there with my ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. So I'm just kind of trying OBS in a different room. And so I'm new to it, but I'm trying to find out if it will tell me for instance how many people are watching computer looks great thank you um that's an interesting computer isn't it here let me pop that back down there so it's it's really weird it's got this this strength let me go ahead and fire it up for us here and i'll kind of show you what i'm having to deal with here hey Ms. Love. again i know did you see the um i put in the what are, isn't it really late where you are by the way i did put in the video description that uh, you hate these, and uh, this is just me. I had some time, and I'm trying to work on something. And I'm also trying to get this other area over here. Oh, 11, that's not too bad. 11.13 is not too bad. Uh, it is, what time is it here? It's 5.13 here. So why isn't this thing turning off? Hold on, let me see if I can figure out why this isn't turning off. Da, 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 da. There we go. Now you can see what I'm up against. So I have, uh, again, uh, this is not, uh oh five. so we're in the same we must be in the same time zone mr landfill so i'm in eastern so you must be too so i was trying to do a couple things you can see here this cybermed computer came with it had an attachment with a scanner so it was designed just for that this is running windows 7 right now michigan if that's because i am using wi-fi here uh and really not surprised if i'm buffering at all i am not even connected to a hard wire here let me see if I can get something here. This is probably not going to help. You're buffering again heavily. Ooh, let me see what's... I need another laptop. Hang on a second. Let's see... Let me try something too. I'm going to move to a different network. This may completely bomb the thing. We'll find out. Let's see other networks. And we are going to see if this helps. In our area, two gig up, two gig down. Buffering after the switch. Oh, that's not good at all. I wonder what's causing that, uh, but it's back. So maybe, maybe that was just part of the switch where it was buffering. Maybe it was buffering through the switch. We'll give a, a chance to say, but anyway, 
we have a fiber that's been laid in front of our, our homes in our neighborhood. And I do have, I just put in my reservation yesterday for two gig up, two gig down. And I'm going to have them because it's the new service. I'm going to see if they can run me a hard wire down to all this equipment. So hopefully in a couple of, uh, uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be a couple of months. Probably I was looking at their map. It may not be till October, November before it's here, but Hey, we'll keep suffering through. Let me know if this can, if this buffers, I would really like to know that. Uh, hopefully it's not buffering. Let's see. I also want to see, let me see who is online here. I have to go to a different uh, view here for this. Hold on just a second. Da, 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 da. And again, this is, I have, nothing is prepared guys. I'm just sitting here trying out a few things. So uh, if you're looking for something exciting, this ain't it. Uh, let me see what we have. Wow, actually there's four of you hanging out in here. So, uh, hey, thanks for the four of you for hanging out. Uh, okay, so Ms. Love, uh, two questions. Number one, what's the computer in front of you right here? And B, is that emoji selector uh, in chat your works or YouTubes? That is, a, uh, the emojis is YouTubes. Uh, I think I can actually uh, modify that if I want to do that, uh, but I've not done that. So, but this is, this thing is called a CyberMed. It had a bunch of equipment hooked up to it. Uh, and I can let you see the back of it here. And it's got a Windows 7 license attached to it. What I'm trying to do is I tried to run retro. So the, here's the problem. This thing I cannot get online. Uh, I was going to throw a retro arch on it, even if I could just keep Windows. Let me get this thing all fine back up. Hold on, I got some cables and stuff under here. It's making it cockeyed here. There we go. And uh, so I can't get this thing online, even though it has, for instance, hey, maybe you guys can help me with this. Even though it has, because it's Windows 7 is what I'm assuming. Uh, here's, here's my error. The server's security certificate is not valid. So I am unable to get this thing online at all. Uh, if I go to proceed anyway, usually I get an error. Let's see. Oh, actually I got, uh, hold on. I got, I got online there for a minute. Hold on. What's going on here? That is new. Let me see if I can get to Google. I hate this keyboard. Gee, I should get a different keyboard. What's in this keyboard? I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, see, and then when I cannot connect uh, to the real Google, uh, so something is interfering with your connection. Uh, so I'm getting all kinds of really weird stuff. I guess I could try more here and see what's going on. What does this mean? I can't even scroll. Um, let's see. What does this mean? You see, I just get a bunch of public hashes down here. So it really just does not want to connect. Let me see if I can reload. So I think we've got some issues up here with HTTPS. Um, this is, I can't get an up, I can't update the Windows 7. So I couldn't, I couldn't even load retro hacks or retro arch rather, because it needs uh, DirectX and I can't get a version of DirectX on here. So I'm really, uh, most turn the emoji off. Most, uh, most, um, where is this emoji you guys are talking about? I'm going to have to look for this. What's the computer in front of you and B, what is the emoji selector in chat? Uh, let me check and see. Let me get into the chat myself. Uh, I can do that if I go to, let's see, I need a window here, file, new window. Man, it is really raining here too. Let me go to WRC. Oh, nope, I don't want that one. W two YTP. W Y T P. Y T P. There we go. Let me see what you guys are talking about here. So now I'm in the same chat room you are. Let me mute my, let me mute myself here. Uh, where are you? Oh, the emoji down at the bottom, the ad reaction. Is that what you guys are talking about? Uh, if so, if, if, if you look, you can actually add uh, a little retro combs. I did add that one, the little retro combs emoji. You can do that. Uh, if you're an executive producer, Ms. Love, you can do an executive producer emoji. Uh, I'll show you both of those. Here's doop, doop, and boom. So there you go. 
So you can use those. And then the other ones down at the bottom, I did not add any of those. Uh, those are just in there for YouTube. And then there's some things, custom emojis and some other things down there, sports and activities. So if that is what you were talking about, let me get out of this because that's going to stuck up some bandwidth, I'm sure. Let me go back into here. There we go. And my chat is back. Uh, wish I could help you hack the system. Yeah, uh, most, yeah, the, this, I'm not, again, I'm not sure how I'm going to get this thing working. Uh, if I do a, here's what happens if I do, I try to get to BIOS. Let me guys, let me show you guys what happens there. So I'll do a restart here. And I don't think I can even get the video out because I can't get to the BIOS. So let's see, I need, let's see, which one was it to get into the BIOS? I think it is delete. Yep. So I'll show you guys what the BIOS looks like. Oh, I missed it. Rats. Did not get the BIOS. So uh, let me see if I can figure that out. So uh, guys, let me know, what, what, it's any more buffering or is the buffering seem to be better now? You probably heard the, uh, the windows chime there. Uh, no buffering, good, well, okay. So whatever, I, you guys know it's, it's a frustration for me. So hopefully we'll get it cleared up though in the next couple of months. Let me try this again, shut down. And then we're going to hold delete when we reboot so we can see the BIOS. I like this. It says I need to clean my keyboard. I'm not sure why. There we go. So there's the BIOS. It's the Inside H2O Setup Utility Revision 3.5. And what it's not letting me do, if I go to boot, I only get one option. It says Legacy Boot Order. And I think. Yeah, so the boot device priority is Kingston RBU, which is the internal. This thing actually has an SSD inside, so I guess those medical devices did do that. So off topic, but I ain't a member, even though I'm a producer and I can't use the retro combs emojis. Oh, you know what? That may be, that may just be unique to YouTube memberships. Uh, it, as you know, uh, Ms. Lava, I actually created a YouTube membership uh, for. Uh, I had some folks. Actually, the folks who asked for it, they haven't used it. Not surprising, but they haven't used uh, YouTube membership, but I guess that's only available to people who have a YouTube membership. You have a Buy Me a Coffee membership. So uh, yeah, I guess you can't use those, which is kind of a bummer. I will have to figure out if I can, I haven't looked um, Mislav to see if I can give free YouTube memberships. If I can, what I'll do is I'll go back and give all my uh, producers and executive producers I guess I wish, I guess technically I should give all my plus four and up users uh, YouTube memberships if I can do that. But I don't see where it lets me do that. That's one of the things I like about Buy Me a Coffee is I can provide free memberships for somebody who supports because maybe they gave me a computer uh, or something like that. But I can't do it with YouTube. So sorry about that. Uh, uh, Mislav, welcome to Commodore 64 YouTube. Hey, that's pretty cool. Did you so, you so you just press join? Is that what you did? So that's what it looks like, huh? And uh, look, you still have your wrench. You have your star. So not only are you uh, now, now you're just you're just you're just over you're an overachiever now, Mislav. Now you're a buy me a coffee member and a YouTube member. Uh, so now I'm going to create. Let's see uh, another thing in the Discord for my YouTube member. All that. So uh, I will have to. Uh, if there's an emoji that you want, I'll tell you what I'll do, Ms. Law, for, for joining it. And, you know, don't you don't, don't feel like you have to do this every month. If you just want to see what it's like and you did it now, if you don't bounce out after a month, that's fine. But if you if you, there's a, um, a emoji that you want in there, let me know and I'll see if I can get that in there for us. I kind of had fun just creating the two. It, actually, that's all that's in there, the two that I shared with you. So, so I actually have a member, a YouTube member now. So now I can play around with that, uh, Ms. Lavin, and we can see what that looks like. I'll see if there's other things. And I think if you are a member, I think there's some other features of that that you might enjoy. So I want to think that I can give you an ad-free experience for members. Might be, 
the case. I know YouTube's cracking down on ads too. So is your, I'm not sure if your ad blocking stuff still working. But anyway, this is, this is what I'm going to try and get through. I'm going to see if I, there's some way to get a USB to boot using this BIOS. If I can do that, then I can get Linux on here and then I can put RetroArch on here, but it's going to take some research, I think. So that's just a little project. Uh, while I have, let's see, how many of you are hanging out? Uh, well, there's a few of you. Um, let's see, there you go, Ms. Love's uh, show off. Yeah, that's right. That's funny. <laughs> Yes, he is showing off now. Let me see if this is, it's not, that's interesting. This is not, there we go. That's better. Now we can see together our chats, which is good. What do you guys think about the little chat window over here? You like that one? Uh, I use ad blockers. I would much rather, yeah, I, I remember that's what you said. I know YouTube is trying to um, crack down on those. So let me know. The other thing I have that I like is I have this little camera right here, which is kind of cool. It'll track. So that's kind of nice over here on this computer. So that's just another feature of me working in here. Uh, hey, Evil J, how are you doing? Uh, we are just hanging out. We are not doing anything specifically other than playing. That's all we're playing with. Uh, so uh, Mislav just, <laughs> just he's, a, he's an executive producer with Buy Me A Coffee. He just got a YouTube membership. He's out of control. Uh, and he's been playing with custom emojis, all two of them. And uh, I've been trying, or what I want to do is try to see if I can get this thing hacked over here so that I can get RetroArch running on it because this is a four by three aspect screen, which I would love to drop this into a uh, arcade cabinet, a small mini arcade cabinet I have and put that in there. So uh, worst case, worst comes to worst, what I'll do is I will rip this monitor out of here and just use that and somehow rip out the guts. But I think there's got to be a way to to get this BIOS, either pull that BIOS chip out, flop in a new one, somehow hack into this BIOS, BIOS maybe I can find something online, I don't know, so. Um, oh, uh, Evil J is doing fine, banging my head against the Atari from hell, decided to take a break when I saw you on. Well, I'm glad I could help you take a break. There you go. Which, yeah, which Atari, uh, what, are you, what are you working on? Do you have one not working? So, man, this shirt's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, okay. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all ratty. I'm getting ready to go upstairs here in a little bit. I It keeps raining. I was going to go for a run today. I don't think I'm going to get one in. Hey, um, uh, Landfill, is it raining in Michigan? Because it is really raining here in Indiana. So let me see if, if I'm going to get a break here. For some reason, I don't think I am. Let's see whether... Looks like... No break until nine o'clock for me. I don't know if I'll run. I may just wait for it till tomorrow now. So uh, off and on all day. Yeah, you know, it's, it's that's what it is here. We must be getting a little bit of the same system. Uh, let's see a four switch 2600 Vader with lousy video. Oh, so Evil J is having some 2600 Vader issues. You know, I haven't I don't have a 2600. I have. The Hyperkin remake. That's only I need to find an original one of these days, but it's not a priority for right me. I have I have so much stuff. Oh, by the way, um, Mizloff, if you're still there, uh, oh my gosh, look at all the chips you've replaced. Holy cow, you've replaced the 204, the 210, the 211, the oh, all the capacitors. Wow, you've got something going. Yeah, you've had a busy day. So Mizloff, I was going to tell you, I um, I have been playing. Well, I haven't really played with it yet. I did download Pi Mega three. And I've got what I think is a cool project coming. I have something ordered. I'm not going to give it away, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for putting me on the Pi Mega 3. Uh, I think it's going to be kind of cool. Hopefully you guys will like it when I work on it. I'm also working on a video. The reason I didn't have a prepared live stream, usually on the off weekends, <laughs> although here I am having a live stream, is um, I have been working on a video all weekend. And I'm not done. I got all the B-roll done. I've got all the headshots done. I got everything done. And I'll give you guys a little tip. It's uh, it's uh, the C64 related with some really cool, I think, not non-hacky tips for the C64, the VIC-20, and the C64 Mini. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. I've got some really cool stuff in there. So that should be launching next weekend. The other thing is I may not be able to do a live stream next weekend because RetroCat, my daughter, is coming in 
and uh, she's coming in for Father's Day. So I'm not sure I'll get a Father's Day live stream in next week. So I may not be live next week either, uh, but my video should drop. So you'll have something. So maybe we can watch it together uh, Saturday morning or Saturday around two, if, if I can get this thing done. So uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? Do I want to mess with this? Let's see if I can. Uh, I'm going to do a little research here. I'm going to see. This is the N inside h2o setup utility i wonder if there is a master admin password on this thing um because it does not have f9 is the default let's see load optimal defaults i'm just gonna say yes and see what happens okay so it's the same thing it doesn't i thought maybe i, I got lucky there and goes i don't even see if i go to Select so on. Um, let me go back here. I tried security to see if there was anything in there, but I can't find anything in there either. Uh, TPM status disabled. TPM. I don't even know what TPM. Anybody know what TPM is? TPM operation or TPM force clear? Um, not sure what those are. That might get me in there. I don't think so. And then configuration. Um, See, the date's not even set. I wonder, maybe, maybe, maybe my, hey, wait, maybe my security, my certificates are not letting me through because uh, the date's not right or it's too far off. Let me, let me see if I can switch that and maybe at least get this thing online. Let's check. Um, sometimes that is, so today is, let's go ahead and, oops. Holy cow, I don't even know how to do this thing. Hold on, let's do uh system date it is zero six oh wait that's time rats uh what time is it it is uh 17:33 let's try it again 17 oh man oh that's weird 17 how do i get over Oh, there we go. Uh, 33. All right. And then let's go down to here. Uh, 06. Today is the 11th. And this is 20, 20, oops, 23. Hey, let's see it. Let's see. Oh, I think I have to do a, yeah, 2023. Let's see if maybe that lets me get online. Um, so your TPM, Trusted Platform Module. Uh, huh. Let's see, resting now. Oh, let's see. Uh, I can't put chat down in the bottom because I, I, I'm sure I, there's probably an OBS plugin for that, but I can't do that, but you all can see the chats. So let's see, about to open my 2600 Junior, see if it's not bad, TIA. Uh, Mr. Landfield says, resting now is breaking my back all morning, rewiring my battery bank and putting them on rollers. Ooh, ouch, 90 pounds. Whoa. Um, Wow, Mr. Rollers make sense for batteries like that. Yes, they do. Also, uh, this BIOS looks very stripped down. Yeah, ex exactly. You're not unusual for a niche. I, again, I'm hopeful that maybe this updating the date will let me get back, get this thing online because I wouldn't mind using Windows. That'd be fine too. Um, I can do that. So let's see if, let's see if that works. Uh, guys, see anything else there that we think we ought to change? I'm just going to hit F10 and save and exit. Uh, save exit saving changes. Yep. The battery in this thing is probably toast. It's not going to save that. Uh, so let's see what happens when I go back into Windows now. See if the clock's updated. And let's see if we can get this thing at least online and get Windows. If I could get just get DirectX on here uh, and get the thing online, uh, again, then I could get RetroArch going. So that would be something. Cross fingers. Absolutely. Go back to oh, you guys probably want to see that, don't you? Let's see, let's go back to workbench. Um, I see the problem the inner key is diagonal, you usually want those to be horizontal. Yeah, I know it's isn't that weird. This is that uh, just a it's just a medical keyboard like you would find in a nurse, nurse's station, doctor's office. It's not great. Um, I guess I could try a regular keyboard and I may do that, but there's there's something kind of fun about this keyboard though, I will say. All right, so let's see. It updated my all right looks like we've got the right date and time although it says 636 huh let's see if we can 
change date and time setting here. Let's see, can I, uh, it says you, oh, it says central time. Let's change the time zone. Let's get that on Eastern. Okay, uh, Pacific, um, do, 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 do. there it is right there. Didn't have to, didn't have to scroll up after all, did I? Okay, and then we'll say, okay, all right. Now let's see if maybe the security stuff works since the time's right because i again i do know that that sometimes will cause issues come on baby fingers crossed i'm not getting just a, a an error all of a sudden so that might be good hey hey um usually i get an error let's let's try my site let's see if uh, retro combs is working Retro hair combs. See that? Retro hair combs. Uh, dot com. Let's see if it works. Come on, baby. Hey, that's what it was. All right. Sweet. Excellent. So that fixed. So that means I should be able to get online. Oh, this is good. This is good. So it was just the certificates were giving me an error because we didn't have the, the proper time and date. So that's pretty cool. All right. Very, very nice. I thought that might be the case. Uh, okay, now let's see if I'm going to try something here. Now, before I couldn't get to Windows Update, let's see if I can get to Windows Update now and see how bad this thing needs. Oh, here we go. Here's here's my here's my Windows stuff, guys. Hey, this is kind of nice the way that's moving back and forth. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see, where do I go to get Windows Update? Is that where is that? Oh, not system. All programs. Uh, accessories. Maintenance? I, man, I, I just don't know Windows. How do I get to Windows Update, guys? If you know, let me know. Uh, Windows, uh, I guess I just type Windows Update, right? There it is, Windows Update. There. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see, let's see if this works. Does this thing have an accessible HDD? It's got an SSD, which is really weird because it's like an Atom processor running one point. This thing is probably at the very beginning of SSDs. Uh, could put an HHD enclosure connected to a PC and install. Oh, it could do that, but I think I think we might be okay. Okay, now see here's let's see check for updates. Let's see uh, what we get. Let's see if we can check. I got some errors last time, and the other thing I don't know is Windows Seven. I know is at end of life, right? Right? Where are my IT guys? I believe that's correct. I believe we are at end of life. But it look, it's looking for updates. This, I think this is going to work, guys. I think it was just simply changing the time and the date. Now, what I still don't think I can do is, um, other than what Mislov said, I don't think I can boot from a USB to get Linux on here. So, yeah, Evil J says, yeah, no more updates. Uh, Windows 7 died years ago. Windows 10 end of life in two years. Okay, there you go. Um just curious how many of you are. Oh, I got five of you hanging out. Hey, thanks for coming in and popping in, guys. I appreciate you just joining me for a few minutes. Still says it's checking for updates. I don't know how long this is supposed to take. I do remember this being an extremely painful process. Uh, I am so excited I got this far. I just needed you guys in a chat room to help me get through this thing and think through it. So thank you for that. Um, let's see. I'm surprised Jamie hadn't popped on. He must not be... He must be uh, busy with family stuff right now. Oh, I, I tell you guys this. I did, I'm a, as, you, as you know, I'm a Pixel guy. I ordered the Pixel Fold and two days later said, no, not going to do it. Way too much money. Uh, I know we've said this before, but also I didn't want to be a beta tester for that thing. I'm going to wait and see maybe for the second one or look for a break. But my my this is, this is doing great. I, I really like my Pixel 7. So, um I did cancel that. So being frugal, saving some money. How long does this take, guys, to check Windows updates? Is this something that's just going to take a while because it's a slow processor? Is that what I'm looking at here? So anyway, let me let me show you what um, uh, forever. Thank you, Ms. Love. I appreciate that. Hey, look, you got a little star by your name now, too, because you're a YouTube member. Check that out. 
Uh, even on the fastest machine, it takes forever. Oh boy. So here is, uh, here's the company that built this little thing. Uh, if you want to take a look at it, you can see they do, um, looks like I have a, I don't know if we can actually find this product. You can see they, for the Academy too, let me bounce over here and do this. Uh, it will take 15, 15 minutes to eight weeks. Thanks. I, you know, that's good. Uh, let me go over here. Um, I don't know if, I think it was, oh, look, they have 3D printers. That's interesting. Uh, I think it was, what was this thing? It was one, I think it was this guy right here. Let's see. Now, of course, it'll be updated. Oh, that's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It had something like that. It's like a really old version of this thing right here. And then this gets plugged into a computer. Uh, and uh, let's see. I thought, I think that was it. Uh, implant. Da, da, yeah, I believe that's what it was. And then, uh, yeah. So that's what we're looking at here was something from this company here, CyberMed. You can see their little logo right here. And this is um, this is the Kiwi keyboard. <coughs> Again, with the 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 diagonal enter key, which is very unique. Looks like we have this. I, it looks like I'm, I I I need to figure out why that, on clean what that means. Does that mean I just need to take something on the surface and clean that? I guess so. I can't even reset it. So oh, here we go. Uh, Windows update. Uh, Windows could not search for new updates. So that's probably because it's not being supported, right? So let's see if I can install RetroArch and see if it'll get DirectX in here. Uh, it's not compatible with this version of Windows. Check your computer. Oh, okay. Well, let's, that's interesting because I tried it before. So let's uh, delete that. Uh, I think I need a software. All right, what's 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 the application? Add and remove software. That's right. Is it not add and remove software anymore? What is it to get rid of software? Um, let me see. Did I? Yeah, there it is, right there. There it is. Uninstall. Okay, we'll go ahead and get rid of this, and then we'll go right to the retro arch and see what version they recommend. Hi guys. Uh, hey, Chris, good to have you. Uh, where are we playing today? We're trying to get this thing right here, this medical computer. We're trying to install retro arch on it. Uh, before we couldn't even connect to the internet. Uh, we just got it. Um, just got it online, had to modify the BIOS, get the clock updated, get the date. And then we were able to at least get it online. And I am uninstalling a version of retro arch, which evidently does not work. And we are going to download and try it again. So thanks for joining. We're probably not, I'm probably not going to be on here, but about 15 more minutes. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know. But in about 15 minutes, I need to head upstairs. Uh, let me check and see. Uh, yeah, there's, wow. You guys just looking for something to do. There's, there's a, several of you on here today. So thanks for joining me. Oh, my goodness. This is going to take forever. Um, surely I can go ahead and start downloading. Retro Arch, why this is going on. Let's see if we can even get to the site here. I need to change that web page, that's for sure. Their start page, uh, Google. Or DuckDuckGo would probably be better, but this is fine for what I'm doing. I'm not even logged into this thing, so I probably won't log into it with my account. And let's go uh, down. Load. Horrible keyboard. Retro Arch. There we go. Okay, see so what we get here. Browser's pretty fast. I'll give it that. I'm using Chrome. Uh, okay, so which version do I need here? Uh, download stable. Oh, nope, don't want that. Let's go back. Hmm. I thought I it would tell me what 
Let me go back here. Let me see what's going on. I don't want those versions. I need like a real mouse on this thing too. Here we go. Uh, oh, okay. So, all right. So here we go. Um, I think. All right, here we go. Here's a uh, download for Windows 11, 10, 8, 8, and 7. So will it be, I think it's going to be the 32-bit, right? Is that what we think? 32? Let's see what you guys are saying. Um, I think I'd replace the entire OS. Yeah, that's what I want to do, but I can't <coughs> change the BIOS to boot to or from a USB. Eventually, that, that's the plan, but the BIOS is locked down because of this medical firm. I need to see if I can swap out and replace the BIOS or, as was recommended earlier, pull out the SSD, put it on another machine, install on that, and then bring it back over. I may have to do that. I would really, I really wish I could get the BIOS unlocked on this thing. I'm just happy I got it online. Um, I'm okay. Session approaching second semester. A bit nervous. Oh yeah, that's right. You got. You're still. You're in school right now, trying to get that. Angry Steven for another ad hoc. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Ms. Love stays angry at me, right? All right. Which which one do I want, guys? Uh, do I want the 64 bit or 32 bit? I think I want the 32 bit. Let's download the 32 bit and. Where is the link to download it? What in the world? Uh -oh. da, 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 da. There are a lot of versions to this. Let me try this again. Looks like. I did not know this was available on the um, Switch. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, come back here, you. All right, let's try and get this installer right here. All right, so we're downloading. There we go. It's a pretty small install. That's pretty good. What's the CPU in this thing? It's uh, if it's a sixty-four. Well, it's an it's an Atom, uh, Intel Atom. I tried the sixty-four bit and it, it balked at it. Uh, that was the first thing I tried. So I'm going to try the uh, thirty-two bit. I, is an Adam? Uh, Adam's a sixty-four bit, right? I don't remember. If I do, let me pull up system information for you while we're doing this, uh, so you can see what's in here. So um, let me go to hardware and well, wait. System summary should have the yeah. There is X eighty uh, is Intel Adam. CPU N2600, 1.6, two cores. So that should be 64 bit, right? I thought the Atoms, uh, the, so it's CPU N, N20, that's a Celeron, isn't it? Isn't an N26 really just a Celeron? Even though it says Atom, it's one of the, I think that's right. It's got, only got four gigs of RAM in it. So there's not a lot there. So I think 32 is probably, I guess, let's see. Uh, let's check and see. Intel, Atom, what did I say it was? I can't remember what I said now. Intel, Atom, uh, N2600. N2600, how funny. Uh, we've got... Uh, we were just talking about uh, Atari just a little bit earlier, and now we've got the N2600 Intel Atom. Let's see what we find out about this guy. One megahertz cache, 1.6 gigahertz, uh, 32 nano bit, 64 bit. Yeah, it's a 64 bit instruction set. So I wonder why the 64 bit install didn't work. That's pretty interesting. Very odd. Let's go ahead and close this. Um, let's see if, yeah, finish. All right, looks like we have our setup here. Let's go ahead and get it going. 
also going to see if I can update this browser while we're at it. Looks like it's checking for updates too. All right, let's get the Google browser updated. Uh, DirectX 9, it was not detected. Okay, so it just wants us to make sure we do that. Let's go ahead and do that. So hopefully it'll grab it. I agree. Uh, we'll just put in the default location. We're going to do the DirectX 9. For some reason, I was thinking it was 8, but it's a 9. Uh, and we'll do RetroArch. We'll install that and we'll hold out hope that it's going to work. Looks like Chrome is not updating. I may have to download that manually too just to get that updated. This is version, wow, this is version 32. We're up to 111 or 114 now. Uh, so I'm going to have to do that. I may just go ahead and download that too. Let's see. Uh, Chrome. Download. I'm betting uh, this is so old that it won't even update. Okay, so let's go. It says I want to update to Chrome. No, I just want to download Chrome. Let's do that. Thanks for downloading. Just a few steps left. I don't see you downloading yet. Let's go ahead and click the button and hard, uh, accept an install. There we go. And there we go. All right. We are probably pushing this thing a little too much. Um, it's the bottom of the bell barrel. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hmm, that was a 64-bit process. I wouldn't go online with Windows 7 and that Chrome. I am not going to put my date. I'm not putting my account in here at all. So... Uh, I'm just going to download it, install it, and call it a day. But it, I have not put any of my data in here. Um, I am behind. I could put, uh, I do have uh, Surfshark. Uh, I could throw that on here too if I want to protect it. But I'm, again, I'm not, I am not planning on putting any information for me in here. Um, I am behind two routers right now because there's a router upstairs. There's a switch to Wi-Fi, which is on a separate net, and to this. So I should be pretty safe. All right, let's see first where we are with... Okay, so that's still going. And we do have this. We're, going, we're just going to stress this little Intel Celeron out. It's got two cores. Surely it can handle a couple of multi, little bit of multitasking, right? That will be, this should be the Chrome, not the RetroArch. Yeah, that's still going here. Oh, hey, Mislav, I, uh, if you go into the Discord, or Chris, you're in the Discord too. If you go into Discord, you and you may have already done this, you can see the, uh, the Commodore logo light is placed in the studio. I put a picture in there for you. So if you pop into the Discord, check that out. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm popping there now to see some of you may have already seen that. It's in the behind the scenes area. Looks like, oh, I like the uh, Commodore logo. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like um, Kifkan and Gertrude saw it. So if you guys want to check out what the Commodore light looks like in the studio, Check out the Discord. You'll like it. Uh, like multitasking on the Amiga 1000 without the original. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay. Oh, this is good. Uh, let's see if we can get DirectX set up. If this works, come on, baby. We don't want the, no, we do not want to install the Bing bar. What in the world? The Bing bar. Okay. Come on. Come on. You can do this. This is where it hung up last time. Uh, I couldn't get it in. Oh, it looks like my thing. There we go. Get back over here. There we go. I must have pointed at it. All right, looks like DirectX might be installing. We may get a little further than I even thought we were going to get today. This is pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. 
Uh, let's see. Let me check up on chat while this is going on. See what you guys are up to. Let me come back over here. Uh, uh, True Dat Evil. Uh, how are you doing? Da, da, da. Angry. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I saw that. We talked about the CPU. We're good. See. So, yeah. We talked about going online. Looks like we're caught up. Um, yeah. I agree, Mr. Landfill. Rock on for sure. It is. It is working. I think. Let me. Oh. Oh. We got. We got. We got something over here. Not an error. But here we go. Uh, installing components next. So the 32-bit is getting me a lot further than the 64-bit did for some reason. Was Windows 7, Windows 7 was 64-bit, right? Or was there, now this is a basic version of Windows. Could Windows 7 be a 32-bit version or didn't they already make that conversion? Uh, video chipset, ooh, good question. Good question. Let's find out what the video chipset is. I want to think, I hope we don't crash this thing. I've gone through a lot just to get this far. Looks like our video system is, um, go to our hardware resources. Is there a video? There is not. Uh, maybe I need to scroll down a little bit. Let's see if we can figure out. I don't see it. Maybe I'm just missing it. Let's see what we have here. Uh, Windows uh, system, model type, processor, BIOS. Uh, boot device, abstraction layer. I don't see what we're using for video on this thing. Um, it's not going to be under components, is it? Let's see. Di uh, display. Uh, no, display. Let's see what it says. Windows just... Um, Adapter type. It is an Intel. Oh, here we go. Intel GMA 3600 series. Oh, that's an old one. So it's an Intel. Yeah, device. I gotcha. Um, Intel GMA 3600 series. Adam ends it. Is, so that is your adapter type. The graphics media accelerator 3600 series. So, all right. Let me. I'm just gonna minimize this. We may come back to this at some point. Uh, looks like DirectX is still going. Looks like installation is complete with Chrome. That's good. We got an updated Chrome now. Let's go ahead and load Chrome and see what we have. And I think I need to close this one. There we go. And let's load it and see what we get. We're making a little progress with this guy. Oh, that didn't load. Maybe that's because it was the old. Let's see. Let's go to all programs. And Google Chrome. There we go. Yeah, that looks modern. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's see. This is settings. Let's go to uh, let's see. settings. I assume we haven't had any buffering. Is that right? been clean on the video no buffering let me know uh, some settings were reset okay that's fine I don't mind that uh, and looks like we have to get future updates you'll need to update your version of Windows well that's not gonna happen on here uh, we are about Chrome gosh his name tell me what version uh, oh 109 so 109 is good that'll last That'll be good for a while. We'll be good to go. All right, we're still installing DirectX. Am I going to have to reboot with DirectX? Is that one of those things? Uh, I have an old system from the Win98 area. Is RetroArch recommended for a system like that? Oh, uh, it does. There was a version for Windows 98. I did see that. I'm I, I'm convinced though that if you can just get a, a thin client, I was going to put L Ubuntu on here. I. If you can do a thin, a, a light version of Linux, I think you'd be better off with that. Uh, and Windows 98, what do you have in that? Is that like a gig? That's going to be slow. That's going to be really hard. As a matter of fact, you're probably better off with a modern Raspberry Pi than you are whatever is running Windows 98. Okay, we're still we're still working over here, which is good. As far as you can remember, no. Re okay, good. Depends on what you're trying to emulate with it. Yeah. I, yeah, that's true. Um, but gosh, I, I got. I don't think you're gonna get. I don't think you're gonna emulate an Amiga on 
probably Windows 98 hardware. I think that would be interesting. But it, I, yeah, again, you just have to, have to see what CPU you have, how much memory you have. Uh, I mean, I'm still amazed that RetroArch plays and runs as well as it does on a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, I've got a couple of devices right here with a Raspberry Pi 3 and it works. So, it's getting dark outside. <sighs> I'm getting hungry. I need to go upstairs to get something to eat. But this is going. I guess I could just leave it running, couldn't I? Uh, we use it mostly uh, to test old games. My son is a... Oh, your son is a reseller of old games. What kind of old games, um, Mr. Landfill? That sounds cool. Uh, if I was going to emulate Amiga, I'd use FSUAE instead of RetroArch. What's the, um, Evil J, what is the emulator in RetroArch? Isn't it UA, isn't it UAE? I think that's what's using, isn't it? So as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, since we're talking about Amiga, Mislov's got me, uh, got me interested in Pi Amiga 3. I have no, um, Raspberry Pi 400 over there. I have an idea for a really, I think it's going to be a cool project. And I've got something on order. So I'm trying to dig back into the Amiga world just a little bit. It's, uh, we'll see how it goes. I still really like the 8-bit stuff though. I got to tell you, it's so much easier to deal with. It's even easier today to deal with than Amiga is today to deal with. I do have, you know, for instance, I had to download all the ROMs. Um, for the Amiga, I got that on here using it. And I don't know if you all know this, I'll a little tip for you. If you need to be legal with the ROMs, if you download on your phone, uh, Amiga Forever Essentials, it was like 99 cents or $1.99. And I've got all the ROMs. I've got Amiga OS uh, uh, 1 1.2, 1.3, 2.04, 3, 3.1, 3 3.1.0. And I've got my ROM key. You can kind of see that there. So uh, that's really cool that you download the Android app and you get all of that. So I thought that was pretty sweet. And then Workbench is just all you need. Okay, hey, look, it's uh, finished. So let's see what happens here. All right, we're gonna finish, complete, finish. Okay, here we go. We got a little icon. This is it, this is the big test, folks. If it works, I'm out. Yeah, that's good evil, Jay. You have that on your phone for sure. And, you know, here's the thing for me. If I have it on my phone and then I go download it online because it's easier to get it that way, I'm fine. Just as long as I have a legal copy somewhere. Uh, I think we need to support this stuff as we go. All right. Fingers crossed, everybody. We are going to double click on RetroArch and see if it works. Oh, so far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. I'm not getting an error. I'm also not getting anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at us. Look at us, guys. You know, I said I wasn't going to leave this up. I may just leave it up. Somebody may want to watch this. This has been fun. Uh, and there we go. Retro Arch is running. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here, guys, because it is 6.04. I think what I will do is, uh, oh, yeah, this is good. We've got a 100% battery. Uh, I am going, I'm going to leave this the way it is. And uh, I'm going to close up for tonight. And then the next time, um, I have some time to mess around with this. I'll come on live. I'm sorry, Ms. Love. It's just going to be an ad hoc. So I'll just, whenever. I'm not sure when it's going to be. It might be this week, might be next weekend. But now that we've at least got that up, I'll have a joystick ready. We'll go through here. We'll start uh, putting it together, maybe add a few games, and we'll see how it does. But that's pretty cool. I like that. And the other thing I want to do too is uh, get Retro Arch to auto boot when Windows starts. So it just goes right into it. So if you have tips, for how I can do that, because I'm not a Windows guy. I'm sure I can figure it out and remember some stuff, but I want to just go right into RetroArch, and there's probably some stuff online. So, because that's all this is gonna do, is just be a RetroArch. So, really cool. Hey, hey, uh, thanks for joining. Hey, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, we're leaving, Jerry. We, we've been here for a while. If you want, Jerry, you can go back, scroll back to the beginning, come back, get caught up. Uh, I wasn't going to leave this online, but I think I am going to just leave it online in case somebody wants to watch it. We made some progress, might help somebody. I'll go back in later this week. I'll put some time codes in. I'll add some information about what we were doing uh, and maybe even just do a new thumbnail for it too. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and fire off that thumbnail right now. Let's do it so it's over here. There we go. And then that'll just be the, whoop, not that. And then I'll add some text and that'll be our thumbnail. So you'll see that a little bit later. That'd be kind of cool. 
and I'll just keep working on it and uh, as we go. So, hey, guys, uh, everyone, thanks. Uh, so, yeah, Mr. Landfill, thank you so much. Do that thumbs up down there so other people will find it. And I will see you the next time I'm online. I'm glad this worked. I'm glad we got the uh, – let me go back here, too. I'm glad we got the whole um, streaming kind of smoothed out and all that business, too. So welcome to my little workbench. So this is where I'll be doing my workbench project. So if I ever do any soldering projects, you'll see these views here. So this is it. All right. Thank you all. Appreciate it. I, as a, as a, as a, as the cool kids say, GG, GG. Do they say that? I didn't. I oh, man, I am so out of date. If they say GG, okay. GG. Retro Combs out. See you guys. Thanks for joining. Chat later. Bye.